Hey everybody, it is Saturday. Um, we are working on our wedding invitations today and filling, figuring out some of the sign stuff. I think Jamin's about to print the signage stuff and I'm gonna work on some of the wedding invitations. So I thought I'd bring you guys along so you can see how we are doing it. These are our invitations. Well, the outside of the invitations with the back and we have this fancy little inside of the envelope, which I think is super cute. Plus our invitations. Got to go very fast. Otherwise, you waste a lot of the wax. It's still wasting a lot. Like, you should be able to turn the heat down so it doesn't do it so much. Like, as soon as you're done and you set it back down. Look at, look at all this wasted wax. I don't know, but look, can't you turn this down? That's why you don't push that much. I didn't waste that much when I was doing it last time. It just see how it slows down. You can't push that much. And I'm afraid to push it all. Well, definitely don't push at the end when you're done. I didn't before. Look, I didn't push at all on that one. on Amazon also, didn't you? Mm -hmm. I feel like it's getting dry for some reason. 
to record this? Did you turn it off, huh? A while ago. I thought you saw it. Mm-hmm. And we ordered a wax seal stamp on Amazon also, and you can get it like engraved or embossed or whatever with your initial, whatever initial you want. Obviously we have C for Calixtro. This is getting really good. Now you just gotta let them dry. This one turned out really good though. You really see the monogram in there?
cutting the vinyl for our last big sign for this big guy here. 18 by 36 inches. It's such a big sign. I'll oh, cut the... You messed it up? No, that's the top of the other one. That's where it cut it. <clears throat> it's so big. And we were trying to make it so that we didn't have to use like multiple. On the last sign that we did, we had to cut each word individually. And it took forever. Like it took a very long time. So we found, Jamin was researching and he found out how you can make it really big on the Cricut screen. And then you can just slice it. Like you just cut the sign basically. Um, to fit on each 12 by 12 block that we have, like one of these blocks. And in order to do that, it's printing like numerous pages worth of mats. And you basically just put them on your sign and you have to line them up, but then it makes it so it's like really big or as big as, you know, we made it. So you don't have to just do one word at a time because that took a really long time last time. But in order to do it this way, we have to print how many mats? Like five mats? Six mats? Four. Four mats? Yeah, there's four different mats. And then you just line up like mat one, mat two, mat three, mat four. You have to line them up perfectly so that it comes together. So hopefully, hopefully this looks good.
After we put together the, or after he takes all of the vinyl and stuff off, we'll probably try to put it on the sign, or Jamin will, because I have to go to work. Jamin will put it on the sign. Definitely harder than it looks. 